For those of you who haven't figured this out, if you've watched any of the v these videos, we're just throwing every tune on this thing we can that Evo has. All of them. We're going from... I've been curious about this for years. I've not seen anybody else do this. I've seen a few other people compare some tunes. Like, oh, here's Waylon tune versus what, versus this, oh, versus yeah. that. We're doing every stage of Evo because I think they have the most... And we're doing it on this same car. Yeah, so we same get to car. see the real, like, yeah. the real games. And we're doing zero to 60s on every single tune. We're not throwing a tune on and driving it and saying, oh, it feels pretty good. We're throwing a tune on it. We're running zero to 60 and seeing if there's an actual difference. So we can't launch the car, but we're gonna show you the pop-up. Build and boost. Okay. Okay, so what's going on? It's a random Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's my Monday, so. <laughs> right. It's, we'll talk about that in a minute. It's a random Wednesday night. We have some things. We do have some things. We got a lot of random stuff. We have a couple of gas cans. We have this guy. Can you see that? You do this oh, too, like you're going, oh. All right, it's not focusing. Why is it, why you don't focus? Anyway. Maybe it was focusing on my face. Let me get out of the picture. Yeah, okay. anyway, <laughs> we got this. It'll focus right. You do this. It? Yeah, we got this. Anyway, we got this, we got some gas cans, and we got some Evo tunes, and that's what's going on, right? Evo. Yep. And, um, yeah. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, so we're back, and real quick, title of the video, we kind of mentioned, you know, what's going on, we haven't been telling you about, primarily this video is about moving on in the tunes, in the tunes, but we got some other stuff too, what's been going on? What's been going, what hasn't been going on? I've been away for a while, Yeah. so I'm like a little bit behind on the happenings around the old dandy's garage. Yeah. I've been busy, yeah. slinging iron. Slinging iron, talked a little bit louder. Um, so I've been working, I haven't had weekends off for a while. Nope. I've been working, uh, five or six days a week, yeah. selling trailers, toy haulers. Um, it's awesome. I get to meet cool people. Uh, we're doing that because, well, because you have to work to make money right. and you right. got to use money to buy parts. Right. So mm -hmm. see how that whole chain of events happens. So we both work and do all we can to support our habit. Yeah. It's an expensive habit. Yeah, and her job, unfortunately, right now is on the weekends, but, you know, it pays good, so there's that. Yeah. And yeah. so that's what's helping us move forward. Um, some other things on the table we haven't talked about a whole lot are the Razor. So a lot of people have asked us, you know, I guess it's probably confusing because we put up videos about Razors, and people that don't watch all of our videos, maybe they just watch, they've watched a few and they see us with the Can-Am, then a Razor, they're like, why did you switch? We didn't switch. This is the Can-Am. We're still in the Can-Am. We're still moving forward a thousand percent, a hundred miles an hour with the Can-Am. Mm -hmm. We're working on it. We're tuning it. Uh, we're making it everything it can be before Camp Razor. A hundred percent. We plan to do as much of that as we can with the Razor too. Yeah. Whatever we time-wise and budget-wise will afford. Um, a lot of people understand that we get a little bit of help, you know, uh, but we're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, rugged radios, we're doing tunes, Evo tunes, we're doing cage, we're doing all these things on that razor, but we can't do them all at once because we're not rich. Yeah. But that's what we're doing. That car, we bought it for a few reasons. We bought it because I saw it and I liked it and sent a picture to Brandy and she loved it. Uh, our kids can drive it. I can uh, drive it. Yeah, we can do like a, yeah, we yeah, can do. Yeah, we can have, uh, we'll do some of those videos. That'll be cool. We'll be You can check, see check, me check, doing whatever. stunts. Yeah. Popping wheelies. Put my leg out of the window. No. Yeah. But popping wheelies and stuff for sure. Jumping. And it'll be fun. Um, and a build car. Yep. It's really going to be a build car. We're going to, it's going to be, there's going to be a bunch of videos on that car. We couldn't not get it. It's like a, it's all black. Yeah. It was like trip. Yeah. It called to us. Yep. So. Uh, we hope you guys are enjoying so far what we've been doing with it. Um, we got more stuff coming a lot. And Camp lot. Razor, whether or not it's the actual Camp Razor, not sure. But October Halloween time, we will be in Glamis hanging out where we would hang out if there were a Camp Razor. I hope it happens. I don't know. We're going to be riding, definitely, though. Oh, we're yeah. going to be climbing holes, and we're going to be putting Absolutely. down some new uh, horsepower numbers. We are, for sure. Yeah, so. Regardless of what happens, we're going to be putting down some new horsepower numbers, like, in about... Uh, 
17 point four about, minutes yeah about 17 minutes from now this car will be making more horsepower yeah the next video well in another video coming up very soon maybe the next video even we'll run it zero to 60s to see what it's got let me give you a quick breakdown on that so we just ran the car that video is already up yeah. maybe not when we're saying this right now but it's up when this video that you're watching right now comes up and we ran a 429 that is our quickest time so 429 far. let's talk about how we got there so we started we're gonna say we okay we're gonna exclude anything we did before we tuned the car back to uh stock and it ran i think a 533 then we did you know we kind of goofed with some other stuff then we jumped up to uh 3r mm -hmm. and ran a um Four seven seven. And when we say stock, we're talking about a 2017 Can-Am Maverick XRS. We're put. It's 154, horsepower. 52 horsepower. 54. 154. Stock. Stock. Um, and so we ran five three three. Is that what we said? Five three three. That was stock injectors. That was stock everything other than a blow up valve and one charge tube. And a and, 2018 fuel pump. And there was and yeah fuel pump and there was a, and there was some clutching. Right. Nothing crazy. Anyway, so five three three on that. Then we went to, uh, then we went to Evo Stage Three R I. No, just three. I think three R. Okay. Is what it's called. Or uh, even is it three R? Anyway, oh, yeah. three. The very first stage of three for Evo. We ran a four seven seven. I want to yep, say. Yeah, we did. Then we started making our way through. We did uh, big injectors, exhaust. We did. Uh, wastegate actuator. Wastegate actuator replacement. We did uh, several stages of of three and we did clutch weights all those are in videos in a playlist called evo evolution power sports zero to 60 i think is what it's called yeah i just created it the other day and dropped some videos in there so go check that out it'll give the whole history of what we've been doing but for right now we so what are we on right now though we ran that 429 we're on a stage 4r no no, no? 3r wi on 93 octane on 93 octane evo exhaust big injectors Wastegate actuator. Wastegate actuator. We did adjust the crack pressure. Uh, we did. Yeah, we adjusted the crack pressure and we put different clutch weights. And a 2020 airbox. And a 2020. Oh, that's the big thing. So all that stuff happened, right? And we ran a 437. Mm -hmm. And then all we did was put a 2020 airbox in this thing. Thank you, Kenny Reed from Back to the Desert for yep. helping us out with that. And we went from a 437 to a 429. That video is up also. Ah, that'll be the last video probably yep. before this one. We'll put a link somewhere in here, yeah. maybe down below. So this is, a, we're on a 3RWI. We're getting ready to jump up to the force, into the force. We'll show you what that is in just a minute. We're gonna put the switch in. We're gonna put some different fuel in. We're gonna throw a tune on it and get it all prepped. And then, and then as soon as we can uh, get the time to go early in the morning when it's cool enough, We'll run a zero to sixty, and that'll be a video that you can uh, tune back in. That'll be in that playlist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these will be in that playlist we talk about. Guys, it's never gonna cool down. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I sell trailers on a dirt lot. It's 111 this weekend. Yep, ridiculous. That's it. All right, we'll be back. So what's going on over there in the driver's side? Okay, so we're gonna throw this in real quick. We're gonna throw the switch in like we talked about. We're gonna throw the tune on it. We're gonna put some gas in it. So. Are you gonna really throw it? There's a little secret on the tune. I'll, we'll show you in a minute. We'll see if you, first we'll see if you can pick it up, and you comment below if you pick it up. If you pick it up, and then we'll tell you what it is. Uh, I don't, do I know what it is? Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll see. Well, we'll I do know. I'm gonna say I do. Okay. All right. So. So basically, what you do with this switch is you pop out your uh, sport mode. Okay. And you pull the connector off. Oops. After you release the bottom. Rookie. <laughs> well, I mean, realistic. Yeah. Wow. Um, you take out sport mode, huh? Yeah. Because we're gonna go super sport mode. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go like sport. Extra. Sport. Uh, yeah. This, I don't this know that thing. Pro this mode. About Pro. Me mad. Don't get mad. Pause. We're gonna cut to a commercial break now. Yeah. You can yell. Okay. Brandon's gonna grab a screwdriver. So this was a little stuck, and I just put this in there and popped it loose, and we're good now. Sport mode does not want to exit our vehicle. Yeah, and we're going to set this aside and keep it. We have all of our original equipment that came out the car. All right. Okay, so now... So we're going to drop this new switch in. Awesome. 
I don't think we even talked about the switch much other than I showed it. I want to say ground control. It's not <laughs> every time. What it, what? Somehow this thing goes back together. There we go. Oh, well, that was easy. All right. So we're going to slide that back in the dash. Let's, okay. Oops. Did you slide gonna, it? We're going to flip it up, right side up and slide it back in the dash. Okay. Is that right side up? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It seems to be. Okay. What does it say on So that? now. Okay. It's, take a look. Watch. Take a look at the switch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So down here we have a 91 mm -hmm. and we have 95. What this does is it allows you to switch tunes on the fly. What? Now you'll notice that it has a little red lockout. Okay. The reason for that lockout is because you're switching the tune dra dramatically enough that you need to run different fuel. And if you were to forget to put 95 in it and you were to click this and run the 95, you would definitely be at risk of hurting your engine. I don't want that to happen. So that's why it's locked out. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it in that position. We're going to fire it up and we're going to see if we see it switch sport mode on the dash. I'll grab the keys. Okay, so do we have to do anything with the actual tune itself? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a whole nother thing. Okay. That's a whole nother step. There's just a lot I'm of steps. Gonna, I'm just going to show you that it switches it, you know. Oh, and okay. And out of what I the see. car thinks is sport mode, but Let's watch really. the dash and see what happens. Currently, that's only activating that light and probably not much in the ECU because we haven't put the tune in for that to work yet. So it won't mess anything up if you do that? No. Okay. It technically didn't even do anything. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the tune in now. Okay. We'll save the gas for later. Let's do it. This is always a fun part. All right. Right? But it's always a scary part when it's like, is this the one where you do like a race? Nope. Oh, never mind then. All right. So we're going to look at uh, my vehicles. We have, I don't know, for any of you who haven't been uh, following the channel um, closely, watching all the videos, you might not understand why there's so many cars in here. we got lots of cars coming. <laughs> but if you look in here, we've been doing some stuff with some cars. Yeah, okay. This, the first one doesn't count. That was another story. Right. These three cars we have done some stuff with. All right, so we're on our, we're already s selected our car, Trip the Ripper. Trip Look at that. Eva knows who Trip the Ripper is. That's right. All right, now we're going to go to programming. I love the color. This is interesting. I looked at this earlier. I took a little sneak peek. Okay. Right? So, do you notice anything about the tunes different right now that you didn't before? And for any of you that know what this is, if you see it right away, comment down below before LC we get to that. LC 2300? Yeah. What does that mean? Take your guess. That means um, LC. It has to do with another button that goes right over here. Launch control. That's what it means. Exactly. <laughs> you have to say it like that. That is what it is. <laughs> so technically, if we wanted, we could throw this top one in right here, which is where we're at three, or the second one, three RWI, which is where we're at on right 93 now. 93. 93 and do a little, you know what? With launch control, we should try it. I mean, why, we're gonna do why it. wouldn't you do it if you could do we're it? We're not going to launch the car, but we're going to hear the pop pop. Oh, right? you right? Yeah. This I is do. just a little bonus part. This is not what we're doing. Ready? Behind the scenes. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, we got to do that. Do we program vehicles? Let's see what it says real quick. Okay. Okay. Launch control enabled. 2300 launch RPM. Required components. Scroll down. You must have an OEM 1819 turbo R fuel pump check. Have it. EVP launch switch. Got it. Race. Oh, oh no, we don't it's have It's not installed, switch. but I'm going to trick it. Okay, AVP launch switch, race bypass exhaust, yes. Uh, 93 or higher octane, yeah. Got it. EVP big injectors, yep, 18 fuel pump on it. Oops, I didn't mean to do. That just says details, okay. Um, and then the EVA wastegate actuator set at 8 PSI crack pressure, yep, I we got it. We got them all. No octane booster, it says, don't use octane booster, so recommended. 
Okay, let's go into recommended. Recommended. Clutch shift out RPM, 8,000 RPMs. Uh, 30 amp fuse, done. done. And that for the intercooler fan. Um, right, oh, it tells you right there F17 location. We oh, man. Really? Dang it. Okay. Rev limit, 9,000 RPMs. Revised intercooler fan function. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Launch control. This is just a little test. We're not we're not going into launch control just yet. Oh, we got to turn the key on. <laughs> uh, it says make sure the key is in position and the ignition is switched on. Okay. All right, here we go. Preparing for install. This is just so we can hear some pop pop. We're not keeping the launch. Well, we are technically. We're not using the launch control yet. We have a plan for that. We'll talk about that. A master plan. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, look at that. Green going from green, red to green. Connecting to ECU. Please wait. Please wait. Are we there yet? We're there. We're there. We're there. We just showed you we're there. We have the AC on now. All right. So <clears throat> I'm not sure how this works. This is an LC20. LC2300 means launch control 2300 uh, 2300 RPM. RPM. Right. We have the spring in there. It's not in the clutch yet. Clutch yet. We're going to do that. Different video. Take the clutch apart, install that clutch, uh, spring, all that. But <clears throat> not in this video. So we can't launch the car, but we're going to show you the pop-up. We want to hear the pop-up. Okay, so. So I hit next. The only thing I don't know, I don't know if it's else, if it's launch control in 95 and 93, 91, I don't know. It, it said, oh, because so, it said 90. Oh. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this car out, and we're going to do some runs, and we're going to do runs in 91 and 95 both. We'll have 95 fuel in it for both, obviously. Right. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Let's fire this thing up and see what it sounds so like. So let me go open the garage door. Uh, we're going to fire it up, then we'll open the garage door. Okay. So this is the first fire up on, what did we just put on it? We put on a, a LC2300 3RWI 93 octane. What? 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 LC what? LC2300. Uh, three. three R, was that a three or? 3RWI. Oh, that's octane. right. We did three. I don't yeah. know why. We'll because do four. Because we're at three right now. And yeah, we want just 93 for, octane. Yeah, is, we'll, we'll, we'll do four in a minute. Okay, does four have 93 also? Or is that when we have to mix fuel? Four has 91 and 95. Okay, but we have 93 in the car right now. Correct. So that's why we're doing this. Because then we have to empty it out and go to 91. No, you don't have to go down. You only have to go up. Okay, well, there you go. All right, let's fire it up. off so the neighbors don't get too pissed but we got the pop pop we got the pop pop let's do this okay we're gonna put this in uh monitoring oh yeah and i'll show you why in a minute how oh man for anyone that doesn't understand what launch control is really about we'll show you the launch control button serves as a, a couple purposes one is real quick mm -hmm. one is so that uh, it holds the override in the ecu okay so that the computer doesn't freak out when you're pushing the brakes and the throttle at the same time, right? Right. But also, this launch control in the computer gives you what's called two-step in the computer, in the ECU. That uh, does some weird stuff in the way the engine's running, which causes the turbo to spool up before you leave the line. Is there a reason why it's called two-step? Is it just... Yeah, yeah it's a, that's a whole nother that's video. That's a go Google it. I don't yeah. know. Okay. No, let's not do that one. No. But it sounds cool is what we're, I mean, and it's yeah. going to be faster. So. so here's why I wanted to go into the monitoring. Here is our boost, right? Right. And the purpose of two-step or launch control is that you get a boost off of the line. So okay. it builds. So, so basically what happens is some raw fuel ends up going into the exhaust manifold, firing off, spinning the turbo, building boost. Okay. So we should be able to build boost. Uh, without even putting a load on the car, which is something you wouldn't normally be able to do. Okay. So let's watch it and see what we got. See that boost? Yep. Okay, so. Alright. Look at that. Yeah. Go in. You want to go 
Hold on back. Yeah. Alright guys, come with me. We'll go back here and take a little look-see. Shut it down. Shut it down. We're going to get kicked out of here. We're going to get kicked right the heck out of this neighborhood. I'll tell you what. You're always a troublemaker, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. So it was worth it. Kick us out. Did you get any fire? I did. Well, not fire. I don't know if I got fire. I was too busy doing like this. I got all nervous. All right. Okay, let me get back in. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. Hello, Brandy Hoover reporting live from the scene of what appears at first to be a shooting. <laughs> but upon closer inspection, sir, what did you do now? We made the pop pop. Yeah. We made the pop pop. Yeah, so the reason I, I uh, we were videoing the monitor, just switching the monitor anyway. Right? right. The reason I brought that up is because, did you see the PSIs? I did. Yeah, I we had boost PSI, PSI without boost. moving. So uh, a lot of people, I don't know how many people understand, but typically you need a load on the car to create a boost in the turbo. So it's building up that pressure. The whole purpose of this, again, I'm at probably overdoing this. Anyway, moving on. Here's what we're doing next. Let's program this thing. Let's go Let's go ahead and move on up to the four, whatever in the next. Oh, we're doing this multi-mode tune. Oh, yeah. Let's go the all the... So look at the switch again. Bleepity bleeping way. Yeah. So we're going to throw that multi-mode... Uh, multi-mode tune in whatever it's called we got the switch we're gonna throw the fuel in we're gonna do this thing for those of you who haven't figured this out if you've watched any of the vi these videos we're just throwing every tune on this thing we can that Evo has all of them we're going from I've been curious about this for years I've not seen anybody else do this I've seen a few other people compare some tunes like oh here's Waylon tune versus what versus this oh, versus yeah. that we're doing every stage of Evo because I think they have the most and we're doing it on this same car yeah, so we get to car. see the real like yeah. the real games. and we're doing zero to sixties on every single tune we're not throwing a tune on and driving it and say oh it feels pretty good we're throwing a tune on it we're running zero to sixty and seeing if there's an actual difference Right. And you get to come all the way, yeah. and you, we get to we tell you every single component that's going on the car every step of the way. Yep. Put the tune on, run it in the same place, try to get as close to the same temperature outside as we can, try to get conditions to be the same, same tire, same car, same weight, same yep. everything, yep. so that we can get you guys some realistic uh, Speaking numbers. of weight, when we ran the 429 versus the 437, I realized we had about an extra 75 pounds, 50, 50 75 pounds on the back of this I forgot about, but whatever, we're not going to count that. We're not going nit to nitpick. I know we're not. All right. So what we're looking for now is, can you see this guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, good, because I can't see. Oh, there it is. Right there. You see it? You see the one? It's the very next one. It says the LC2300 X3 Stage 4 RWI MM, which is multi-mode, 91, 95. Okay. So we're going to do that one. The next one we'll be skipping because it's a 95, and we're covering that one right now. The one after that, look what it is. We already have the fuel. You guys, look we at what's yeah, LC20, so launch control, 2300 RPM, X3, stage 4, R, W, I, X, yep. 100, bump, 100 octane? Yep. That's crazy talk. Yep. Then we are actually going to do the um, stage 5, X85. We're going to do it. Of course we are going to do pick up some. Uh, we're going to pick up some real deal uh, E85. To Why wouldn't we do it? Yeah. It's not gonna stay because I'm not I'm not really a fan of the E85 because it's gonna get t tested yeah, and tried. It's not it's not uh, it's not for us because uh, we do riding long distances and whatnot. Runs too much fuel. It All does. right, long run. We'll do it for fun. We'll run it here and there. We'll take some E85 to to, to Glamis with us and run up and down the hill and whatnot. But all right, let's do this multi mode. Get it going, Next. buddy. Program? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to program it? No, I'm just out, out here hanging out in the garage. Uh, hold up. I want to see. I want to see what all the stuff says. So this says update um, V nine thirty one LC launch control. Launch control enabled. Twenty three hundred launch RPM required components. Let's list them. We're looking at OEM eighteen nineteen turbo R fuel pump, an EVP launch switch. Okay. Race bypass or exhaust. All right. Ninety five octane RM. Two fuel mix 91 octane and 110. It even tells you how to mix it. Watch this. Uh, Is that crazy? Race gas 70 30. So, 
So 70% 91. And then 30% 110. Okay. okay. 95 octane RM2 fuel, which says mix 91 octane and 100, and that race gas will be 50-50. Now that's what... Uh, so it shows you how to get it from 94. If you're using 91 and 110 and 91 and 100. Right. We have 110. We technically have 93. We have our own calculator, so... We're gonna pull the 93 that's out of this car and mix it with 110. Yeah. Okay, Evo big injectors, got it. An 18 OEM fuel pump, okay. Oh, we gotta bump up the, um, the crack Waste pressure. Wastegate actuator, oh yeah, nine PSI, okay. Yep. Crack pressure needs to go. Evo locking uh, multi-mode switch, we done. Got it. No octane booster, don't do it, all caps. Recommended is a clutch shift at RPM, 8,000 RPMs. 30 amp fuse, done, okay. Um, that's the F17 location on your fuse block, should you need that. <laughs> Rev limit, 9,000 RPMs. Revised intercooler fan function. That's, I'm assuming, part of the tune. Okay, we're going to download. Or, do you want to program it? Yeah, we do. Make sure the key's in position, babe. Technically, we should have probably a bigger intercooler at this point, but whatever. That's next. It said, is map tuner X connected to the correct vehicle? Programming error. The key wasn't in the on position, babe. I know. Oh. So you're I goofed. Always training these new people to how to tune a car. All right. God. Here we go. Let's try this again. You don't have to. Well, probably edit that part out. It just not look like a dummy, though. Right? <laughs> or kidding. leave in that we said that and look even cooler. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. These things happen. It's been a long day. It's what time p.m.? Late. Yeah. In the middle Alexa, of the night. what time is it? The time is 8:43 p.m. Oh, it's not even that late. It's late. Night. It is that late. It's 8:43 p.m., which is 11:43 p.m. East Coast. And we were just doing the pop pop on. And the we were neighbors. pop popping on the neighbors. God, nine o'clock on a Wednesday. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so I accidentally pushed next. But anyway, it finished. There was All a right? green line, it went yep, yep. next, complete. So let's see, I don't, can you go like my vehicles? Can you go blah, blah, blah? And can you see? Does, that, it, uh, show does you? anyone else? I don't, what? Rename, hide, rename. I wanted to see if we can see like, you know, what tune's in it already. Oh, you have to be able to. Okay, I don't know. I'm sure you can, you go like this. I'll show Information. you. Information. Yeah. And this is an um, active VIN, okay, version, yada, yada. LC okay. 2300 X3 Stage 4 RWI MM Multimode 9195, okay. Nice. Nice, very nice. Okay, we can't really do much with it right now because it's late at night, neighbors, all that stuff. But we're going to fire it up. Okay. Real quick. We'll fire it up, uh, and then we're going to throw, mix up the field, and then... Bada bing, bing, bada boom. <laughs> Now this switch should be active now, so it should be more than just switching that, so. But it's not 95, we don't have 95 yeah. in it. Uh-oh, there's some two steps. Uh -oh. We're going to be moving to a new neighborhood soon, uh, probably, hopefully we get some <laughs> property, I mean. Yeah, we're going to need. Our neighbors are going to hate us. Anyway, hate us let's do this. Anus. All right, anus. let's do this. We're going to okay. throw the fuel in it and get ready. Okay. What's that? Right there. Uh, we don't have to change the belt out or anything. Okay. All right, uh-oh. This says, I've never noticed this sticker. It says, unleaded fuel only, recommended, premium 91, R plus M2. Super. Super 95. Ooh. Anyway, let's do this. Okay. Uh, we're going to pump the 90... What do we have in there? We 93. 93. We're going to pump the 93, all of the 93 out. We got to jiggle jiggle that um, mabobber. Uh, yeah, so we're going to pump all the 93 out into this can. We've got to do some juggling around. We have some 110 over there. We're going to put 93 in here. We're going to move it about the place and mix it up. And we're going to do the... Pokey pokey? Yeah. Okay, so... So, if this turns out to be like the right amount, we'll just pour some 110 in with this. So. What's the mixture? 70-30? Uh... No, because this is 93. Yeah, we're going to have to bust out our own fancy little calculator. I'll find that we out. Have it. That's yeah. my information. I'm the information keeper. Yep. Okay, so we're going to mix 93 and 110, whatever the ratio is, to get to 95 so that we can basically run what we're on which is a three we're on launch control 2300 four rwi multi-mode 95 octane pretty soon correct okay 
And this thing cranks it. Oh, look I at know that. it's. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. So we got a. We have. I'm just gonna go over it one more time, even though people just to repeat in case people fast forwarded to this part. We have done. We're going to the tune I just said. Stage four, RWI launch control, right? Multi mode, 95 yeah. octane. We have upgraded what? For RWI launch control Multiple. we have to put the spring in we haven't done that yet we have bigger injectors we have evo exhaust multi we have a, a new mo uh, wastegate actuator we have the multi-mode mode switch we got we to, need to set the crack, crack pressure, pressure to nine correct we're going to do that in a minute nine Stay psi we have the uh the 30 f amp fuse yeah. for the inner cooler uh, that's out of the thing babe oh. so i can hear the bottom of the tank so okay I we have uh, what else do we have we have one charge tube, we have a blow off valve, we have an 18 fuel pump, we have an Evo exhaust. All right. Okay, so we got the fuel out, we're gonna come back, because we gotta juggle this around. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to put some of this 93 in a different can. We need to use the calculator. More we'll be back. Chance. We'll, we'll be, back. be back. Alexa, ask Geneva to turn off the air conditioner. Sure, I've turned off your air conditioner. You better. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so we did our, our our math calculations, Ryan did, right. and we're yeah. going to pour some of this 110. We want to get, we've had this 110 for a while. We're going to get rid of this 110. We have another five gallons over there. We're going to bring this up to where it should be and to make uh, scientifically precise to make I'm 95. Not really see that because you don't need to see, you know what I mean? Figure it out on your own. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell me when. Okay, um, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. I'll tell you when. Right there. You're good. You're good. You're so good. I know, but. I know, because you were going to go over a little bit, but now you're good. Better. You're good. All right. We should be at roughly 95. Probably a little bit. Do you have to shake it up? About? Shake it about? No, it's all going to get dumped in there right now. Oh. So we're going to set this aside. I love that can. And we have more one gin to go because we have more stuff to go. We have lots of stuff to do. Okay. I'm not going to pour this in because it's easier to, to siphon. I've just, that thing is just so cool, huh? I've discovered that the, the siphon thing is the way to go. Why pour a fuel in when you can just... The jingle jangle? It's science. Rest. Gravity. Let gravity do the work. Yeah, just let gravity do the work. Still me standing here holding it. So cool. Liquid gold. Yes. All right, well, we'll be back when that's all emptied into the tank. We will. Okay, so that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're going to do a little multitasking, I think. Um, we got to set the crack pressure to 9 PSI. I think it's like around 8 right now. Alexa, ask Geneva to turn off the air conditioner. It just came on. You know what? Leave it on. I've turned off your air conditioner. Well, she late now. She listened that time. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm going to pull off this hose. And get the little mighty vac okay and we're gonna set the crack pressure to what nine nine psi and what is it at right now like eight i think right that's what it's been it's uh on eight yeah okay all right so where's the mighty vac it's actually in the house it's in the house yeah okay well i'm gonna turn this off where is it at tell me or unless you want to talk we'll be right back okay <laughs> let's do some crack pressure adjusting Ready? Ready. <laughs> All right, so we're going to check it real quick. It should be at eight right now. I'm going to put my hand on it so I can tell when it moves. And it's kind of hot, though. That yeah, right there. Right. God, my eyes are just freaking too much pressure in the seat. I'll tell you. You feel it again. I'll tell you. What am I on right now? Nine. I'm just getting to nine right now. There. Barely start to move right at nine. Yep. It moved. Do we get nine? Okay. All right. We're going to go with that. All right. So we uh, have adjusted crack pressure per instructions yeah. for our tune. 
We're at nine PSI. Um, don't forget to put that little thing back on the clip. You stuck it in the cup holder or whatever. They did. Okay, here we are, Darren Hoover. Okay, tell me what you did tonight, babe. Okay, so quick summary. What we did is we set the crack pressure, starting with other things. <laughs> okay, you know what? He just started at the end. What happened was <laughs> we wanted to test out. We got pop pop. We got her some pop pop, some yeah. gunshots. We yeah. closed the garage down so the neighbors don't get mad. But really, basically, we ended up at a, a launch control, the 4RWI on 95. Was it? It's 4RWI multi, multi, multi mode. mode tune. So it has the 95 and the 91 right here on the dash. We mixed up some shoot fuel. We put it in. We set the crack pressure. We put the tune First on. First, you mix the fuel, then you put it in. Bop, bop. Exactly. Yeah. Pop, and pop, then we tested yeah. the pop, pop, and we're good to go. Yep. Yeah. So, we're going to go do some zero to 60. So, uh, subscribe so you don't miss it. Hit the little bell. Um, we have a playlist. It's called Evolution Power Sports Zero to, zero 60, to 60s, I think. Like and this video, this part, and the zero to 60 will be run in there. The uh, last video yeah. that we did where we did the 0 to 60s on the last tune that we yep. were on, which is a 3RWI, yep. where we gained a lot of... Yeah, see uh, the whole evolution of this car. As oh, we, well, the evolution. I see what evolution you did there. Evolution power sports. Evolution yeah. of this car. Because it has made a drastic uh, climb. It has. It has been a bunch of little things. Exhaust. Uh, injectors. Uh, Airbox. Oh, my. Um... We got exhaust, injectors, wastegate, airbox, wastegate, actuator, actuator and, uh, crack, got, pressure, crack pressure, adjustment. tunes, 30 amp fuse, I don't know, yeah. I just was on that forever, harping yeah. on you. Let's yeah. Do it. Anyway, so what happens? What happens? Um, what happens is, subscribe, like he said, um, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up, it does help, we do appreciate it. Um, there's links below if you want to help us out by joining our Patreon family, hey guys, <laughs> uh, our Facebook group so we can talk to you, meet up with you, ride with you. This is really about meeting people to ride with in the sand. If you don't like what we're doing, seriously, we want to hear it. Hit the dislike button two times and we'll know that you hate it and we'll stop doing it immediately. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining us on this crazy journey. And we got a lot, lot, lot more coming. And hopefully by the time we get to uh, Camp Razor in Glamis, October, we'll be uh, doing more than pop popping. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. All right, guys. All right. Peace. Peace.